Hello guys, welcome back to another one of my videos, and today I'm going to show you a guide of how to merge Summer Warriors 2 with Summer Warriors 2 Extreme Legends on the PCSX2. Uh, make sure you have 1.6 version because that's the newest up-to-date version that's stable. And I want to give a few shoutouts to Profar of the Dynasty Warriors Discord because <clears throat> he went through a lot of trouble to show me this method of how to make it work, and to my surprise it did. So out of courtesy and free time to have, I'm going to show you how to do it in English. Uh, mind you, these are the US, US versions of the ISOs, not the Japanese European ones. Um, so let's begin. First, you're going to need Im Image Burn. You're going to need Winmar. The links to these programs will be at the bottom. The link to the Extreme Legends ISO you need will be at the bottom as well. Um, so make sure Winmar is tagged to your ISO once it's extracted. Like, see how mine is. It says Winmar, but it reads as an ISO. Uh, make a folder called Complete Edition, because what you're going to do is put all the files in here. The part people tend to mess up on even in the first game is they extract the original version first. That's not what you got to do. You got to do the Extreme Legends one first. Grab everything. Um, ignore that. You're going to grab everything out of here. Place it in here first. Give it a minute. It usually takes about 30 seconds to a minute, depending on your system's power level or whatever. Once that's in there, we're going to close this drawer, and we're going to open this ISO. Now this is the original version. Um, the original version, as far as I could tell from testing, it doesn't matter which one you have as long as you have the US version that matches the Extreme Legends version. Um, so we're going to place everything in here. Um, I got mine from Cool Rom, so you guys could probably get yours the same way as well. Um, we're going to put it all in there, and there's going to be a screen that comes up saying, Hey, warning, there's so duplicated files. I'll show you what you guys have to do there. Give it a second, it takes a while to load. Okay. Now you'll see this, do not hit this one, do not hit this one. You want to hit this one at the bottom. Let me decide for each file. You're going to click this, and you're going to click that. What this does, it tells the ISO, hey, keep both of them in it. There we go. So now we have the original content in Extreme Legends. And once this is done, make sure you close one more. Make sure you get Image Burn going. Now when you have Image Burn going, you're going to say, write, um, create image from files and folders, which you want to do. You're going to click this little folder icon, and you're going to click this one. You're going to hit select. And once we select it, you see the little, this little icon I clicked, in case you guys missed it, this one. Then you're going to click this icon, and you're going to save it to wherever. I'm going to save it in documents. You're going to hit yes to this, because what it's going to try to do is get rid of duplicated file names to save you space, which you don't want that. Hit yes, saying that you no, know you want to keep both versions of this as well. There you go. Give it a moment to load. You're going to hear a chime on this program saying that it's done. Uh, this game seems a lot quicker than one did, but here we are. Give it a chime any second now. Once that's done, we close. Image burn, and we go look in our documents where I put it. Our documents. There it is. So, um, oh, you see how it is it's out here. Now, we want to open our emulator. Um, you're going to hit the ISO slide, you're going to hit browse, and you're going to go to the desktop look up the complete edition. And we're going to hit run fast. Now, don't panic. People told me that, oh, they got a black screen. You got to wait at least like 20 seconds and load. It takes a while to load longer because the original content is in here now. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, as you can see, it's already loaded in just fine. Now we got to make sure we get it to properly work. So, you see this import button. Oh, let me check the graphics. Give me a second, guys. Uh, that's better. There we go. You hit import. Make sure you have this other emulator folder open. This one. And then when it's going to ask you, do you want to import Summer Wars 2, you say yes. Go right here. Hit no disk. Hit swap. Go right here. Hit ISO. Hit swap. 
There you go. Do it again with no disc. Do it again with swap. And there we are. As you can see, it is um, fully loaded. You guys don't believe me, I can gladly show you some of the content you normally have in Extreme Legends. Let's try a character that's the original version. Uh, I guess we'll this fight it. is all mine. We'll go with the little dragon, because why not? Once this, once this video loads. As you guys see right there, it's already loading everything just fine. And as you see right here, here we are. I'm counting on you guys to take down the Eastern Front. Now get to it! These punks have no idea what they're in for. There we go, Come see? on, let's make the Date me the work. throughout the land. So, if you guys like what you saw here and want to see more of me playing this complete edition or cheat any time, feel free to tell me in the comments. I will not be answering requests of having stuff made for you because That's I don't do that. That's some very pretty work you're doing out there. So, thank you and goodbye. I'm the greatest there is!